If you thought the 2010 congressional election was something, wait until 2012. By then, the effects of the 2010 census will have been felt. Eight states are projected to gain at least one congressional seat under reapportionment. Texas will gain four. Florida will gain two. Arizona, Nevada, South Carolina, Utah, and Washington will gain one seat each. By contrast, New York and Ohio will each lose two seats, while Illinois, Iowa, Louisiana, Michigan, Massachusetts, Missouri, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania will lose one seat each. What's at work here? As always, it's the money. The states gaining congressional seats because of increases in population have state and local tax burdens that are on average a third lower than those states that are losing population. Per capita government spending is lower in the states that are growing. Also in eight of the ten losers, workers can be forced to join a union as a condition of employment. In seven of the eight gainers, right-to-work laws prevent coerced union membership. Americans are fleeing high-tax, union-dominated states in favor of states with lower taxes, right-to-work laws, and lower government spending. Imagine that, economic freedom. Nothing sends a message like voting with your feet.